that's exactly how we're going to start lying down. So there I've got my class. And these pesky dogs, eh? All the time. <laughs> as soon as I go to do something, they all decide they want to go outside. Or as soon as I do all outside, they all decide they want to come inside. <laughs> Great. Let's get started. So tonight's class. Last week we did a live side series. Oh yeah, I'm going to see who you are. Mary McCardle, great to see you. Um, the week before we did a lot of rotation, right? And so tonight's class we're going to do live abdominal work and we're going to do a little bit more upper body. So we haven't done an awful lot of upper body for the last few weeks and so we're going to do rotation in the upper body and some of that strength work as well. But let's start lying down. It's lovely to see you all. It's really nice. Full moon tonight. Well, it was at half nine this morning. And so close your eyes. Important when we start that we start by stopping. And maybe you just feel it happens as soon as you lie down. The body knows, ah, yes, here we are. Let's relax a little bit. Let's switch off from the activities we've been up onto up to this point in the day. And let's switch into our Pilates mode. So in Pilates mode, the first thing is we relax all of the muscles. So we build our tone on relaxed muscles, not on any tension or stress patterns in our bodies. And then the next part of our mode is we start taking deep breaths and start to notice our breath. And then the third element, really tuning in to the physical body. And so starting to just notice how we feel and then noticing our contact with the floor. So becoming aware of the back of the shins on the floor, the back of the thighs, the lowest part of your back, just the kind of the tailbone, coccyx area, and then that natural curve where the sacrum is, the lower back, that natural curve. So it's not pressing into the floor. And then you can feel your shoulder blades are pressing into the floor. And then the back of your neck is not. And let's start to take some deep breaths here. We're gonna bend our knees and place the feet on the floor and legs are in parallel. So that means that the hips are in a straight line to the middle of the knee and the middle of the knee is in a straight line to the middle of the toes and the feet are in a straight line. And so now as you inhale, feel the ribs expand and feel the belly expand also on these first couple of breaths. So fill up. And then as you exhale, the breath is leaving the body, start at the bottom. So lift the pelvic floor. So all the muscles from the pubic bone to the navel, the navel starts sinking towards the floor towards the other floor, towards your spine, transverse abdominal sinks, and then the ribs start to draw in. Inhale, feel the expansion. So fill up and let the belly expand. Inhaling through your nose. And now as you exhale through your mouth, lift the pelvic floor, feel the transverse abdominal sink, the lower abs, the ribs draw in and the navel to spine all the breath leaves. And now this time when you inhale, see, can you keep that navel to spine and just let the ribs expand? So still a full breath. And then as you exhale, that extra squeeze, so pelvic floor lifts, navel to spine, shoulders are relaxed. Inhale, ribs expand. And then exhale, squeeze, exhaling through your mouth. So what we're aiming for is precision tonight. So as you're working, can you feel that, that um, the core muscles, those stabilizers are engaged, transverse abdominis, the navel sinking, the pelvic floor lifting, the sides of the waist drawing in. 
And so let's keep that corset-like activation. And we still can breathe, right? So we're still breathing in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Let's do a little bit of pelvic tilting. So as you inhale through your nose, tilt the pelvis. So you're tilting it forwards, the lower back lifts. As you exhale, imprint the lower back into the floor. Squeeze pelvic floor, sink the lower abs. Inhaling arch, lower back lifts up, pelvis tilts forward. Exhale, squeeze and sink. Really feel, so you're not just moving physically, you're also engaging internally. And one more, so strong activation, inhaling arch. Ribs expand and then exhale, squeeze, scoop and lift. Super. Hands out the side of your head now. So I want you to really think as we're coming up, I don't want you using your shoulders and your neck muscles. I want you really using your abdominals. So you're going to lengthen the spine to lift up and you're going to have a shortening action here. So ribs towards the hips, abdominals really working. So hands up behind your head, interlaced. The head is heavy into the hands. Shoulders relaxed, ribs in, take an inhale. And now as you exhale, draw the ribs towards the hips, lifting up, exhale through your mouth. And when you're up, reach the arms to come up a little further, extend. Place the hands behind your head, push the head into the hands, inhale, coming down. And let's keep going, exhale. Ribs are in navel to spine, pelvic floor lifts, and then reach the arms. Replace the hands, inhale, coming down. And exhale, squeeze, lift. There's three. Support the head as you come down. And really feel like ribs to hips. So using the abdominals, that's what lifts you up. Four. Place the hands coming down, inhale. Exhale, squeeze, lift, five. Place the hands, inhale. Precision as you move. Squeeze, lift, six. And, you know, strong activation, but your jaw is relaxed, right? Your shoulders are relaxed. So you're definitely working where you're meant to be working, right? Your breath is focused. Your pelvic floor is lifting. And seven. But you're not tensing. You're definitely not straining in the neck. And exhale, squeeze, lift, eight. Inhale, down. Exhale, squeeze, lift, nine. We're going to go for 10 of everything tonight. Inhale, exhaling, 10. Okay, so now at this time, both hands are going to go either side of the left leg. So as you exhale, palms together and reach. Replace the hands, coming back down. Let's go to the right side now. Exhale, lift, palms together and reach them outside the right leg. Replace the hands, inhale down, exhale, left side, two. And then other side, two. And so you can feel it in the abdominals, right? The hips aren't moving. So as you exhale, you're using the obliques, using rectus abdominis. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, support the neck as you're coming down. Push the head into the hands. Four. Exhale. Four. Exhale, five. Palms are together. Exhale, five. See, can you reach a little further without moving in the pelvis, right? Exhale, six. That's it. Exhale, six. Inhale, down. Check pelvic floor is lifting. And seven. Lower abs sinking. Don't want to be doming in the lower belly. And seven. Inhale, down. And precision, right? Exhale, eight. Squeezing, engaging. And eight. Inhale, down. Exhaling nine and nine. 
Inhale down, exhale 10. And 10. Super, hands out to your sides, right? One leg in tabletop. Feel like there's a bag of sand on your lower belly sinking. Second leg in tabletop. Squeeze the knees together, take an inhale. And as you exhale, the knees are gonna to go to the right and push that left shoulder into the floor. Inhale, control, bring it back up. And then exhale, knees to the left. And think of the navel turning to the right as your right shoulder pushes into the floor. Slow movement. Inhale, coming back up. And let's keep going. Remember, pelvic floor lifts, navel to spine, back of your neck is long and controlled movement. Navel goes the opposite direction towards the knee, from the knees. And exhale. There's two. Inhale to center. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhaling three. Inhale to center. Exhaling four, always with everything you modify, okay? You adjust to suit your body. So everyone's, everyone's absolutely different for a start, but also injuries, fatigue, and five. That's it. Inhale to center. So your legs are definitely not falling over to the side. You're pushing the opposite shoulder down. The navel turns in, away from the knees. As you're coming back up, it's with control, inhaling back up, and then exhaling for six. So feel it, the opposite shoulder pressing down, the rotation in the hips, in the side waist. That's it, that's seven. Pelvic floor lifts, navel to spine, eight. Inhale, center, exhale, eight. Inhale, center, exhaling, nine. And so at any stage, for example, you could put your feet down if it feels like too much with the legs lifted and nine. Always listen to your body, right? You gotta work at your edge. And last one, 10. Inhale, center, and exhaling, 10. Really nice. So we're gonna do pelvic lifts, or it's called reverse sit-ups. And we'll do them straight up first, and then we'll add a rotation. And if the rotation feels like too much at any stage, then just do the straight up one. So shoulders away from the ears, ribs in, navel to spine. You're in your Pilates rest position, so feet are parallel, thighs and knees and, hip, and feet are hip distance apart. Navel to spine, pelvic floor lifts, one leg comes up on the tabletop. And now feel like there's a bag of sand, so that core activation, transverse abdominis down, second leg comes up. I'm just trying to remember what it was we were going to do. Oh, yes, I just said it, right? So it's reverse setups or pelvic lifts. So we're going to inhale here. And then as you exhale, sink the lower abs and lift the hips off the ground. Inhale back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. And really think of scooping, right? There's a tendency for the transverse abdominis to dome here, and I want you to scoop it. So three. Four, five, six, and your lift will be entirely unique to you. Seven, how high up you go up. Eight, nine, ten. Super. So now we're going to do a rotation. So inhale, and as you exhale, you come up and you rotate. So you're bringing the knees towards the opposite, towards one shoulder and back down. Lift, rotate knees to the opposite shoulder. So you really feel this right in the um, obliques especially. And rotate, two. Rotate, two. You come up, rotate, 
come back and then down three three and if the rotation feels like too much do the straight up pelvic lifts okay four and four five and five six six check pelvic floor is lifting seven and seven great job and eight and eight nine nine hope nobody ate too soon recently ten and ten excellent stretch it out reach the arms long we're going to go straight into series of five, right? We're going to really work the abs here at the very start. So shoulders away from the ears, ribs and navel to spine. I'm going to instruct the five of them with no break, but I would encourage you to take a break between them at any stage if you need to, right? So just absolutely listen to your body, see what suits. One leg in tabletop, feel that bag of sand. So sink the abdominals, second leg comes up. And now front ribs come in to lift the head and shoulders. Great. Extend the left leg long. Left hand on your right knee. Right hand on the outside of the shin. And now lift a little higher. Really nice. Lower abs sink. Pelvic floor lifts. Inhale, switch. Exhale, one. Exhale, two. And three. And four. Remember, if your neck is anyway tender, five. Hands behind your head. Six and seven and eight and nine and ten double legs so keep lifted in the chest don't let your head and neck go down inhale extend the arms extend the legs exhale big circle with the arms and draw the knees in one that's it inhale extend exhale drawing in two and again one hand behind your head any sensitivity in your neck three right or keep your head down Four, excellent. And five. And you decide the angle, right? And six. The knees going, legs going straight up. It's going to be less straight in the lower back. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Legs straight up. Lengthen one long. The other straight up. And then lift a little higher. That's it. And then switch. And just hold for a breath. Nice stretch. And let's go. And one. Two. Pelvic floor lifts. Navel to spine. Three. And four. Leg as straight as comfortable. And five. And six. Bent knees are fine. Seven. And again, any sense to in the head. The neck eight. Put your hands behind your head. And nine. And ten. Both legs straight up, interlace behind the back of the head. Inhale here, and then as you exhale, extend the legs. So everyone's different, right? You might come halfway. Inhale up, or you might go all the way. Exhale down, two. You might do one leg at a time, three. And three, that's it. And four. Oh no, there is a problem, four. five and six inhale up exhale down seven great job and eight that's it nine and ten we're going to do three extra ones because then you missed some of them <laughs> and one and two and Three, excellent, let's go into crisscross. Draw one knee in and cross over. Inhale, center, both knees together, chest lifted. Exhale, rotate, two, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale, six, exhale, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten to go. Let's do them straight legs now. Ten and nine and eight and seven and six and five, four, 
three, two, and one. Great job, stretch it out. Really great, let's come around. Actually, we'll do some seated stuff here. Okay, so coming sitting, legs are flexed and forward. Arms are reaching forward, really nice. And now sit up. And for some people, especially if you're a lot of running and you have tight hamstrings, you might benefit from a tiny little bit of a cushion under your bum, right? Otherwise, legs are flexed, pelvic floor lifts, navel to spine, inhale. And then from the lower abs, so start drawing the navel and the lower abdominals back to make a C curve, and then roll halfway back. Inhale, come back up. Oh no, we inhale here, sorry. And then exhale to come back up. So shoulders over the hips, and then we straighten. Okay, we're gonna do a rotation in our C curve. So inhale, and as we exhale with C curve, and one hand goes out to the side. That's it. As you inhale, the arm comes forward, come back up, and then exhale the other side. So your arm can be straight, or you can bend the elbow, whichever you prefer. Really nice. And now let's really feel that C curve. So lower abs sink, rounding back, and then the extension, the, the twist. Coming back up, you're coming up in your C curve, and then at the end you straighten, and then exhaling, rotate. So you're rotating and rounding. Inhale, exhale, rotate and round. Coming up in your round at the end, you straighten. Exhale. There's five. Exhale. Five. And coming back, six, and you may go further back. Now check, lower abs are lifted, right? So you're drawing them in, navel to spine, and the pelvic floor. And seven. Inhale, and seven. Coming up, and eight. Really strong in the core now, that's it. And eight. And let's stay back this time. So exhale, rounding back, and you're gonna hold. Feet are flexed, thighs are active, pelvic floor lifts, and we go out to one side, one. And then with exhale, oh uh, no, inhale, exhale back to center. Other side, inhale out, exhale back to center. There's one. Inhale, exhale, two. Exhale, two. You might like to go back a little further. Inhale out, exhale, three. Inhale, rotate, exhale, three. Really helpful to look where your arm is going. It kind of increases the amount of rotation. Yeah, it's getting very warm. Good idea, take your jumper off. And now, come back a little further, maybe. Let's do two here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, open, exhale, last one. Inhale, open, exhale. Inhale, open, exhale. And now with control, with control, rolling all the way down. Really nice, arms overhead. Let's roll up. So remember, use your elbows if you need to, right? Or use your hands at the side of your thighs. Inhale, look to your toes, okay? And now as you exhale, scoop, lift the pelvic floor, and then rolling up. And let's reach all the way forward. So we're reaching forward, let's hold and breathe. Start to point your toes. And now that strong feeling of you're reaching forward, shoulders away from the ears, but your abdominals, your ribs are drawing back. So they're just lengthening. Really nice, take an inhale. And now we're rolling back. So it's your C curve. So your abs are drawing in, navel to spine, and you're rolling back in a rounded, so lower back hits first, mid back, upper back, arms overhead. Really nice. Inhale, lift your toes, flex your feet, squeeze, and then roll up. Remember, use your elbows if you need to. Come all the way forward, point your toes, and reach. Draw the abs back, draw the ribs back, shoulders away from the ears, and reach. And now inhale, and rolling back, exhale. 
that's it. Relax. Arms overhead. And let's come around to all fours. So let's inhale, look to the toes, flex the feet. Exhale, rolling up. Point the toes, reach forwards. And then come back up to sitting. And let's come around to all fours. Great. Great work. Okay. Oh yeah, so we're gonna start with a little bit of the arm work and then we'll work more into the glutes and the hips. Okay, so hands beneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hips, and you guys know the sequence, right? It's deceptively strong in your arms. And so if you have any shoulder injuries or anything, please adapt, hover your knees. And now straight away, tailbone draws under, navel to spine, right? Pelvic floor is lifting. So you're going to, maybe your feet a little bit wider, so you have a nice steady straight stance, right? Right hand is gonna tap your left shoulder, and then down, left hand will tap your right shoulder and down. And then right to left, left to right, two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. That's it, knees close, nine. Try not to move in the hips. Navel in, 10, 10, brilliant. Knees down. So now bring the shoulders forward so they're over your fingertips, okay? So we started on all fours and now we're gonna hinge forward. The more you hinge forward, the harder it's going to be, right? So you decide how much, right? So inhale as we come down, elbows in, head towards, chest towards the floor, exhale back up. So it's a tricep push-up, so I want your elbows staying in close to your body. Inhale down, exhale up two. And exhale up three. And four. Inhale down, move it to spine. Exhale up five. And six. And seven and eight and nine and ten okay bring the hands a little bit forward now so the hands are not beneath your shoulders anymore bring both forearms to the floor and they should be that the elbows are beneath the shoulders and then lift them back up really nice forearms down and back up two three Four. The more you bring your shoulders forward, the harder it's going to be five. So if you're back here, it's going to be a lot easier. So you'll find where it works. And six. And seven. And eight. That's it. And nine. And ten. Really nice. Okay. So let's now bring our hands beneath our shoulders again, so we're on all fours. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to slide, so it's a rotation. The left hand slides on the floor over to the right, and your temple comes to the floor. Hips go straight back. Inhale back up. Place the hand, and let's go straight to the side. Right hand slides. Ribs are in. Let's do five each side. Inhale. Exhale, slide, there's two. Inhale, drawing in. Hand places, exhale, slide. Ribs in, navel to spine. Pelvic flow up. And three. Lovely. Inhale up. Exhale, slide. Three, and feel it, right? You wanna really rotate the ribs here. And four. That's it. You should feel the obliques. Four. One more each side. And five. And the other side. Five. Excellent. Bring your forearms down. So forearms down now, and the elbows are directly beneath the shoulders. 
draw the lower abs in. So navel to spine, pelvic floor lifts, lower abs in. Let's bring the knees a little bit closer again. They were a bit wider, so now they're just about hip distance. And extend your right leg long. So really important here, we don't want to be arching and flexing in the spine. So we want to really scoop the lower abs. So we're all working hamstrings, glutes, and we're strengthening the lower back and not straining it. So let's flex the foot, lift the lower abs, and lift the leg up. It's going to want to bend, and I want you to keep it straight. Exhale down. Lovely. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now really draw those lower abs in. Shoulders don't move. Exhale down. Precision as you move. So feel it, right? Yours. Just as often as the case in Pilates, it's the bits that are not moving because you're working on them not moving that are where a lot of the work is happening. Five. Six. Seven. Scoop those lower abs in. Back of your neck is long. Seven. Ribs are in. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay, so let's point the toes this time, right? The leg straight, straight back. So right leg is straight back. In outer left hip draws in. And now we're going to rotate. So opening out. Okay, so rotation in the hips and then back in. Take an inhale, exhale, rotate. Inhale, so now the hips, the knee and the toes point, point the floor. Exhale, they point out to the side. Three. And four. Outer left hip draws in. Five. That's it. Six. Great job. And exhale as you rotate, seven, eight. Shoulders don't move, back of your neck is long, ribs in, nine, and 10. Now stay in your rotation, right? So stabilize in the shoulders, stay in your rotation, flex the foot, and then the heel into the bum, and extends. Lift that right up, hip, open more. Heel into the bum, extends, two. So strong work, draw the navel to the spine, three, and four, and five. Can you feel those other hips? That's it. Six, strength work here, seven. Really now engage the abdominals, stabilizers active. So navel to spine, eight, pelvic floor lifts, nine, and 10. Really nice. Now come out of the rotation. So now the woo, hips and knees are facing the floor and bring that knee down. Really nice. So come to center and let's go to the other side. So left leg goes back and that's straight away. So that pelvic wheel we talk about in yoga, right? So the tailbone draws under, pubic bone towards the navel, foot is flexed. Let's bring it up and down. Try not to move in the spine. So you're really working the hamstrings, Hamstring glute attachment and strengthening in the lower back. Three and four. Scoop those abdominals. Pelvic flow up. Five, six, seven. Focus on the precision, right? Eight. So you're not moving in the torso. Nine and ten. Now point the toes and open out. Rotate. Inhale back to center and exhaling, rotate two and rotate three. That's it. So moving in the pelvis now and four. Shoulders stay steady and five and six. Back your neck is long, navel to spine and open it out seven. Feel the psoas, so an eight, and then the front of the hip and lower abs. Nine, one more, and rotate 10. Now stay in the rotation, really open it out. Check, your chest is facing the floor, flex the foot, heel to bum one. 
Keep rotating, opening out. Two. And three. That's it. Four. Great work. Five. And six. Seven. And eight. Nine. And ten. Excellent. Bring the leg back parallel. Bring the knees down. Okay, we're not finished working here. Let's keep working into these outer hips and glutes. So a bit of dynamic clam. So let's start. Knees are bent. And your hand should be able to touch your ankle. So this lovely straight line. Ankle, hip, shoulder. And then elbow is directly beneath the shoulder. Nice and open across the chest. Hand on your waist. And engage, right? So pelvic floor is up. Navel to spine. Ribs are in. Inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to come up. So just your bottom shin is on the floor. Your hips are lifted. And then open out. Inhale. The knees come together. The hip just touches the floor. And exhale. Lift and open. Now you want to keep that your hips are parallel the whole time, right? So as you open three, you're not coming forward, right? So you're really working into that hip socket. And four. So the rotation is there. And then the side waist is doing the lifting. Five. Six. That's it. So you're staying facing in the direction that you're facing in. Seven, right? It's a lift up and opening. Eight. Nine. And ten. Let's go straight to the side. Swing it over. So again, it's like the hip is going straight up and then the hip, the leg opens in that. So start by lower waist lifts, navel the spine, pelvic floor up, and then exhale, open. Inhale, tip the bum to the floor, exhale, open two. And three, that's it. Four, ribs in. And five. Six, I'm presuming you can all hear me fine. Seven, please wave frantically. Eight, if you cannot hear me. Nine and ten. Super, let's come into the next one. Oh, yes. Okay, onto all fours. And let's start with the left leg. So out to the side. It's the fire hydrant. And back in. Inhale, exhale, two, three. Now here, really focus, right? The opposite, the right hip stays in, four. And five, ribs in, navel to spine, six. And seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna add the kick. So open that fire hydrant, straighten the leg, tap the floor, lift it up, bend the knee back in. So very strong, right? Let's not work on speed really focus on form. So left knee is opening out, outer right hip stays in, hands pressing into the floor, shoulders don't move. Straighten the leg, touch the floor, navel to spine, lift it back up, bend the knee and back in. So you should be able to feel it all here. And strong work, that's two done. Open, straighten, down, up, bend and in three. Find the breath rhythm that works. So really focus the outer right hip stays in, lower abs in, four, and five, and six. Great job. And seven. That's it. And eight. Two more. This side, nine. And 10. Excellent. Let's go straight to the other side. So, navel to spine, ribs in, pelvic floor active, hands pressing down, and then open out and in. And two, three, back of your neck is long. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Let's add the kick. So open out, straight leg. Touch up, bend, and back in one. 
and to check you're evenly pressing into both of your hands three lower abs drawing in towards the spine four pelvic floor lifts nice control stabilizers active and five outer left hip draws in so you're not rotating in the pelvis at all six lower back protected and seven eight nine last one and ten okay one more of these other hip ones and then we're going to come to some standing work great so come lying on your back right leg onto your left thigh and we're going to exhale to lift up and as we lift up i want you to think of the right knee extending away so really opening but both hips are still even but you're opening the right knee away inhale it comes back down exhale lift and open but keep those hips parallel so we're not trying to drop the right hip right we're trying to keep it lifted but we're opening the right knee so you can really feel it in there inhale exhale three check pelvic floor four navel to spine five bum barely touches and six hands on the hips seven always helpful because then you can feel that they're nice and balanced eight nine ten let's go straight to the other side other leg exhale lift up one two should feel kind of nice three four five six seven eight nine and ten super both feet down and come all the way down really nice okay let's make our way around to all fours again actually let's do a little bit of extension in the back and strengthening in the back before we come to standing so come lying down and you can place your hands down like in sphinx pose so the elbows are beneath the shoulders and then push the pubic bone into the mat so that pelvic wheel again the tailbone's drawing under pubic bone drawing pushing into the mat pubic bone drawing towards the navel navel to spine and then start to lengthen so inhale lift the chest and then as you exhale let's um this is really nice one coming up into a forearm plank so as you exhale let's round draw the ribs in draw the navel in come up onto your knees and then if you're comfortable come up onto your toes sternum forward back of your neck is long thighs are lifted tailbone under inhale and as you exhale let's slowly roll down so knees down thighs down and feel that Thighs roll down, pubic bone, and chest lifts. Inhale, lift your chest, point the toes. And then as you exhale, ribs in, navel in. Come up onto your knees, stay on your knees, or tuck your toes and come up into forearm plank. Push the inside of your forearms in, so press into the thumb and the index finger knuckle. Lift the thighs, tailbone under, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, knees down thighs down nice control as you roll down pubic bone and then chest forward really nice excellent so let's come all the way down and let's reach the arms forward and they're not straight forward they're more out like half with the not forward and not out to the side to like halfway between um the 45 degrees <laughs> that's handy yeah Okay, so pubic bone into the mat, navel to spine. And then let's inhale, lift the chest, come up onto your hands. Exhale, coming down. Navel to spine as you come down, pelvic floor lifts. Let's lift the legs. Inhale, lift the legs. 
And exhale, come down. Inhale, up onto your hands, lift the chest. Navel to spine, exhale. As you're coming down, you're coming down with control. Inhale, lift the legs. Exhale, down. One more, inhale up. Exhaling down. Inhaling legs. Exhaling down, lovely. So now let's inhale legs and arms. As we exhale, let's draw the elbows back towards the chest. Inhale, extend, reach the arms. Exhale, elbows back, lift the chest, navel to spine. Let's do three more. Inner thighs towards the ceiling. That's it. Lifting, I'm just checking. I hear text messages, just making sure everything's okay. Yep, it's fine. Exhale. And two more. So inner thighs towards the ceiling. Inhale, coming back, lift the chest. Elbows back. As you exhale, lift the legs as you extend the arms. Strong in the back. One more. Inhale, elbows back. And then exhale, extend the legs, extend the arms. Really nice. Hands beneath your shoulders. And push back into child's pose. Really nice. So great to strengthen the back muscles. Now let's reach both hands over towards the right. And especially the left hand reaches a little bit more, feel that length in the left side. And now come back to center. And now both hands over to the left. And this time the right hand reaches a bit further. So we do a little bit more of that stretching into the side body now. So come back to center. And tuck your toes and come up into a down dog. And then here in down dog, bend your right knee and left hand holds the outside of the right thigh. Now you can keep that right knee bent or you can straighten it and start to turn to look under the right arm. And breathe. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, squeeze and twist. Now we'll place the left hand, let's go to the other side. So bend your left knee, right hand holds the outside of the left calf, left knee, left ankle, whatever works. And either keep that left knee bent or straighten and then turn to look under your left armpit. Inhale, exhale, rotate, squeeze. One more, inhale, exhale, rotate. Really nice. We'll place the right hand. And now walk your hands back to your feet. Mm, relax your head, relax your shoulders, tuck your tailbone and roll up. So remember vertebrae by vertebrae, like you're stacking on a wall that's directly behind you, coming all the way up. Let's roll up and down, inhale, exhale, tuck your chin and rolling down. All the way down, nod your head, shake your head. Take a full inhale, push your feet into the floor, exhale, roll up. Really nice. Okay, so let's come standing on the mat. And we'll come to, it doesn't matter which, actually we're coming to the center first, so you can see sideways. So arms are reaching forward, feet are about hip distance apart. Okay, so inhale here, and then as you exhale, I want you to bend the right elbow. Left arm's gonna reach more forward. Keep your hips facing forward and then reach the right arm back and look back. Inhale, bend the elbow, reach the arm forward and then exhale, other side. So left hip now stays forward. Excuse me, left elbow bends, left arm reaches back. So lovely thoracic rotation. Bend the elbow, inhale, reach both arms forward and then exhale, right elbow bends, right arm back, look back but right hip comes forward, that's it. Bend the elbow, inhale, reach. Exhale, rotate, I'll go to the side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, remember, squeeze pelvic floor, navel to spine and rotate. Inhale, reach. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, reach. 
Last one of these, exhaling, rotate. So we're going to bring that rotation into a lunge. So come to the edge of your mat. I'm at the left side of my mat, so I'm going to lunge to the right. But it's whatever suits, it doesn't matter, right? So arms are forward. You're going to step out to the side. That leg's straight. The leg you just kicked out is bent. And now you're going to do that rotation you just did. Inhale, arm forward. Step back up. Exhale, lunge and rotate. Two. Inhale, forward and back up. Exhale, lunge and rotate. Three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Really nice. So great for our spine. Exhale, six. Exhale, seven. Inhale, and exhale, eight. Let's go to the other end of your mat. And let's go exhale and rotate. Inhale and forward, come back up. Exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. And four. And five. And six. Check. How's your activation? Navel to spine. Seven. And eight. Really nice. And maybe you can feel your arms, right? We did a lot of work on them. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, I'll show you from the side, right? We're going to reach the arm up, up. So it's up, up. And then alternate right but what we don't want is this action right we want in the shoulders we're going to do a pulse pulse but we have our tailbone under pubic bone to navel strong activation and pulse pulse exhale inhale switch exhale pulse pulse exhale 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 So working up into the shoulders. Check now tailbone under. So you're not moving in the spine. That's it. Great for the back. Great for shoulders. Okay, great. So the next one. So we'll put right hand to your head hmm. I think yes okay left hand down take an inhale and then as you exhale you're going to reach the arm over and the other hand down inhale come back up both hands to the side of your head and you're going to rotate pulse pulse and remember hips stay forward inhale exhale slide Inhale, both hands to your head. Exhale, pulse, pulse. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale, pulse, pulse. Inhale, exhale, reach. Yep, I know you're probably trying to work it out and that is absolutely fine. You remember, I always throw in these little spanners where you have to work out exactly what you're meant to do, and that's the brain, the mind-body connection, right? Exhale. Inhale, and then pulse, pulse. One more. Exhale. Then we do the other side. Inhale, exhale, pulse, pulse. So now other side. Inhale, and exhale, slide. Inhale, and pulse, pulse. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and pulse, pulse. Inhale, exhale, slide. Inhale and then pulse, pulse. Two more. 
Exhale, slide. Inhale, pulse, pulse. Remember, as you go to the side, your hips stay forward. Exhale, inhale, pulse, pulse. Great. So great work in the side body, right? Can't help it. Got to do a little bit of scooter, guys. I'm going to step forward, so plenty of room behind me. So hands on G or hands on your hips, right? I'm going to do my hips tonight. Bending down, knees nice, deep bend, and engage, right? So pelvic flows up, navel to spine, ribs are in, chest is lifted. Step on your left foot, and then scoot your right foot back. Lift it up and down, bring it in, there's one. And back, up and down, two. Up and down, three. I'll go to the side. Back, up and down, four. Back, up and down, five. So you're a little bit tilted forward. Back, up and down, six. That's it, back, up and down, seven. Back, up and down, eight. Out to the side, out to the side, up and down, one. Straight leg, out, two. Comes in, bent. Out straight, up and down, three. Out straight, up and down, four. You got it. Up and down, five. Out straight, up and down, six. And seven and eight okay straight out let's do circles we start bent and one and two navel to spine three pelvic floor lifts four try not to wobble and five bend that standing knee six you can feel that what's not moving is working it's so hard seven and eight other side other way rather same leg other direction one and two and three and four and five aren't we great and six and seven and eight oh better do the other side so step it out a little bit okay come forward squat down nice deep bend tuck the tailbone navel to spine pelvic floor is up ribs are in chest is lifted hinge a bit forward and then stand on that, standing like the opposite one. Back, up and down one. Back straight, up and down two. Up and down three. Yeah, so key part of the balance here is the core, right? Four. And five, that's it. And six. And seven. And eight, out to the side. Up and down one. So this hip doesn't move. That's the side. Up and down two. Three. Nearly there. Four. And five. Six. And seven. And eight. Okay, circles. And one. And two. Try and stay even if you can. Three. I'll try four, bend the standing leg a little bit more, five, check your engagement, six, seven, eight, other direction, and one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, great job. Okay, let's finish with three movements of the spine. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Arch. And round. Two more. And round. One more. And maybe you can feel lovely mobility in your spine. Inhale, center. And then slide. The stuff we just did a moment ago. And the stuff we did all through the class, right? Inhale, center, and slide. Slide. And notice maybe where you can feel the work. And slide. Let's do rotation. 
hands on your shoulders, inhale and rotate as you go to the left, left hip forward. As you go to the right, right hip forward. Last one, really nice. Arms down at your sides, close your eyes. Let the weight fall. Let you rather hinge to the front of your feet and then hinge towards your heels. Go to one side and then go to the other. And now find your perfect center and become aware of your alignment. So lots of work tonight in the hips, in the glutes, in the abdominals, in the spine. So strength work and also all that lovely rotation so we did the rolling up and down in C-curve and the rotation in C-curve there at the start of the class. And then we did a bunch of stuff for the outer hips and glutes, the fire hydrant with the Kung Fu kick, the legs straight back, the hinging up and down with the foot on the thigh, clams, and all that lovely abdominal work at the beginning. And so just tune in and notice how you feel and maybe feel that strength and flexibility you cultivated tonight. Notice it in your posture. Is your spine nice and long, back of your neck long, collarbones wide, to a feeling of strength as you stand here. You fired up all these muscles. It's a good feeling, hopefully. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. And maybe see some of you in the morning. And those I don't see in the morning.